Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. Small and I are in training. How are you doing, Small? I'm doing fine, Ben. Hello, everyone. We're practicing for the Cook Sports Day. All the cooks from the restaurants and cafes in town are getting together for a fun day out. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> There's going to be races and competitions, and then afterwards, we'll all have a big old picnic. It's going to be great, and I'm going to win the sack race. I've been practising for ages. <laughs> I have too, but I don't think I'll do very well. All the cooks are Ben's size. I don't think I'll be able to catch up with them. Ooh, ooh. <sighs> I know, Small. It's not fair, really. You're really good at sack racing, but you're a little cook who has to race against big cooks. Never mind, Ben. Maybe there's another race I could run in where it doesn't matter if I'm the smallest. OK, now let's see. What other races could there be? Um, oh, running races. <laughs> I think I'd come last in that, that's for sure. OK, what else? Oh, skipping races. Well, I'm good at skipping, but I'm not as fast as the big cooks. Oh, oh right. Oh, well, how about... The high jump competition! Nah! nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure we can think of something I can do for sports day. I'm sure we will. Customer, come on, small. Better go and see who it is. I'm on my way! Woohoo! <laughs> who is it, small? Who's our customer? He's small like me, and he's very good at running. <laughs> Who can he be? One more clue. He's made of gingerbread. <laughs> oh, now I know who he is. He's the gingerbread man. And what is it he says in the story? He says, run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. <laughs> and I'm sure I've met him before. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's adventures in the big world. Let me see. One day I was out for a walk when I heard someone running up behind me. Then a gingerbread man dashed past, shouting, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. I said that I didn't really want to catch him, and he stopped and turned round. You're the first person who's ever said that. Everyone else wants to chase me and catch me. I love running, but I'm tired of being chased all the time. Then I had an idea. It was the nursery rhyme sports day that day and I entered the gingerbread man for the running race. Also in the race were Wee Willy Winky, who runs through the town, the crooked man, who runs a crooked mile, and Humpty Dumpty, who doesn't run anywhere. <laughs> the starter called, on your marks, get set, go! And they were off. The crooked man started quickly, but he soon began to go crooked and ran off the track. <laughs> Wee Willy Winky was doing better, but then his legs got tangled up in his nightgown and that slowed him down. Humpty Dumpty fell over his feet straight away and cracked his shell. But the gingerbread man ran as fast as he could and won the race easily. It was a nursery rhyme world record. The cheers rang out as he got his prize. It was a gingerbread house for him to live in. And as no one would dare try and catch a world record runner, everyone promised to stop chasing him. Little Cook to the rescue once again. That was a great adventure. Ho oh, ho! Well done, Small. What a brilliant idea to put the gingerbread man in the running race. Way! I'm back. Thanks, Ben. I just wish I could think of a race to put myself in. Oh. But we'll have to think about our sports day later, Small. Right now, we've got something else to think about. You're right, Ben. What can we cook for a gingerbread man? Ooh! I know! Big Cook's Big Cookery Book! Of course! The Big Cookery Book! There's recipes for everything in there. 
And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's book. Ho <laughs> oh, ho, here we are, Small. The perfect thing. Gingerbread people. They look great, don't they? Come on then, little cook. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need golden caster sugar. OK, in the cupboard. Here we go. Yep, got that, Small. Golden syrup. Yep, lovely golden syrup. Got it. Ground ginger. Oh, yep, there we go. Ground ginger. Yep. Self-raising flour. In the cupboard as well. Got the flour, Small. Icing pens. One, two. Got those. Yep. Butter or hard block margarine. There we go. Got the butter, yep. And chocolate buttons. Chocolate buttons. Oh, right. Chocolate buttons. I'm afraid, Small, we haven't got any of those. But we have got everything else we need for the recipe. Well, don't worry, Ben. I'll just whiz off and get some. You get all the ingredients ready. Ooh, chocolate buttons. Yummy. I'll see you later, Small. See you later. Hey, why don't you come along too? Whoosh! Go, Small! Go, Small! Whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, look at that scrummy, yummy chocolate! Mmm! This man is called a chocolatier. He makes the chocolate. He's putting some of the melted chocolate into a piping bag. He cuts off the end so that the chocolate can come out. <laughs> Little blobs of chocolate! They're like tiny buttons. Yum! More melted chocolate! This time it's being poured into a mould. It has to be left to set. Go hard! Oh, look! They're different size chocolates. They're the tiny ones. Perfect for me. <laughs> tiny, medium and large buttons. I'd better get these buttons back to the kitchen. <laughs> See you later. There we go. Everything's ready. All except the chocolate buttons. <laughs> I tell you, if there was a chocolate button eating contest at the sports day, I'd win that for sure. Way! I'm back! Hiya, Small! Did you get the you know what? I certainly did! Whoo! <coughs> Whoa! Hey, hey, hey! I'd better just check they're okay. Hands off, Ben! They're for the gingerbread man! <laughs> Well, we'd better move on and cook, cook as fast as we can. Let's make a treat for the gingerbread man. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruit smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients for gingerbread people? You do. There was golden caster sugar. 50 grams. Golden syrup. 100 grams. Ground ginger. One heaped teaspoon. Self-raising flour. 200 grams. Butter or hard block margarine. 50 grams. And for decoration, icing pens. Four, any colour you like. And chocolate buttons. A handful. Whoopee! Let's get started! Now, the first thing we need to do is turn on the oven to 180 degrees Celsius, gas mark four. Now, the oven is hot, 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 so that's a job for your grown-up helper to do. And so is this. I'm going to put the syrup... In it goes. 
and the sugar and then the butter into a saucepan and then I'm going to heat it up gently. Turn on the heat and I'll stir it around a little bit until the butter has melted and the sugar has dissolved. The mixture mustn't boil, otherwise it might burn. Take the pan off the heat, Ben. What's next, Small? You stir in the ginger and the flour. <laughs> OK, in goes the ginger. And then in goes the flour. There we are. And then keep stirring the mixture until it becomes a smooth dough. Keep stirring, Ben! Brilliant! And then after that, put it into a bowl to cool for 15 minutes. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. Right, whilst we're waiting, I'll just grease this baking tray so that the dough doesn't stick when it's cooking. Ben, I keep thinking about the sports day. What other races will there be? There'll be the three-legged race. That's where two people run along together with one leg tied to the other person's leg. <laughs> well, you'd have to tie the whole of me to your leg, so that race is out. Oh, Small, there must be some race you can do well in. Hmm, I'm beginning to wonder. <coughs> the dough's ready, Ben. OK, I'll just sprinkle some flour onto the work surface. <laughs> Watch out, Ben. You're giving me a flower shower. <laughs> oh, sorry, Small. This is to stop the dough from sticking when I roll it out. Right, here we go. Bit of flour on the rolling pin. And let's roll it out like this. Now, it needs to be about half a centimetre thick. Now, Small, Will you help me out with the gingerbread people? OK, Ben. I'll cut out the man and you cut out the lady. <coughs> OK, Small. Right. There we go. There's the lady all cut out. And there's the man. Well done, Small. Now, if you haven't got cutters like these, ask your grown-up helper to cut the shape out of some card, then you can put the card onto the dough and you can cut around it with a blunt kitchen knife. Now, carefully, I'm going to remove all the dough from outside our gingerbread people. And then, I'm going to lift them up and pop them onto the baking tray. We can make more people later. They have to go in the oven for 10 minutes. I'll set the timer. And remember, the oven is hot, hot, hot. So, oven gloves on, and over we go. Open it up, and pop it inside. The gingerbread people are cooked and cooled. Now it's time for the decoration. And for the decorating you'll need icing pens and Ben's favourite. Lovely chocolate buttons! Whee! <laughs> right, now, let's start. Now I'm going to give mine a lovely yellow dress. Like this. Looking good. And I think I'll give her a lovely spotty dress too. So, I put a dot of icing there and a chocolate button on top and another one there, another chocolate button. And mine's going to have red trousers. And I'm going to use red icing too for her mouth. And a dashing yellow shirt. How's yours coming along, Ben? 
Ho ho! It's all finished, Mole. What about yours? All done. All that you need to do is put a couple of chocolate buttons for the eyes. Oh, well done, Small. Hey, hey! Right. Now for the eyes. I'll put a little blob of icing there, and another one there, and then on go the eyes. And I think I'll put another little blob on top of the buttons. There we go. Gingerbread people coming through. There. All done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean. Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam. My name's Ben. And my name's Small. We've got the cleanest kitchen of all. Tidy all the bits and bobs, the things that help us do our job. Ingredients we'll put away, ready for use another day. Pots and pans will start to smell, if we don't wash them really well. And now it's clear, let's all smile, we'll be finished in a little while. All around, up and down, we've got the cleanest cafe in town. Aha! Here comes the plate. Oh, yes! And it looks like the gingerbread man enjoyed his gingerbread people. Look, Small, he's left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Hoo-hoo! Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my gingerbread people. They were scrummy! Woohoo! As you had a good idea for my sports day, Small, here's a good idea for yours. From the gingerbread man. Small! He's left an egg. Now, why would the gingerbread man leave you an egg? Thanks, Ben. Oh, I know why. He wants me to join in the egg and spoon race. Hoo-hoo! <laughs> of course! In the egg and spoon race, you have to carry the egg on the spoon as fast as you can to the finishing line without dropping it. Well, I've got an egg and I've got a very special flying spoon. Ho-ho! Oh, small, the egg and spoon race is one race you could win. You're bound to be the fastest on your flying spoon. Way! I'd better get in training then. See you soon. Whoosh! See you soon. Hey, hey, hey! Oh. Welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for. 